What's up guys, welcome to another God of War video. In this video, we will be analyzing the most recent interview, which was called Behind the Myth that Corey Barlog did. And there wasn't a lot of new information, you all already noticed that, but I would like to go over what is new and what might be concerning for the actual game when we get our hands on it. So the first thing I like to go over is the UI, the user interface, and concerning Atreus' journal. So Corey specifically said that there's going to be a journal that Atreus has that is very unusual in the Norse world because they didn't have books like this. But he did say that Atreus will be putting down notes and we the player can actually go into those notes. I guess him and Mamir have a similar role where Mamir also gives information about other people and a events um atreus will have his own little journal probably going over the things that himself experiences and getting even more information on other things other events that we ourselves experience so what i think is going to go on here is that when it comes to creatures and events that we didn't experience that we need information on mamir is going to guide us and give us that information but the things that we go through as the player the enemies we fight big events in the game probably we get to look back at in Atreus's notes and get his perspective Atreus is going to be you know this companion to, to Kratos that you know he has intelligence and he's going to be the empathetic character he's going to understand people's feelings so it'll be really good to dive into Atreus and see what he really feels about the whole world and everything like that instead of us the player only having Kratos's perspective Another thing I found interesting was with Brock and Sindri. Corey was explaining that everything in this world has a story, that nothing is in here for no reason like they did in the previous games. And even Brock and Sindri as well, the dwarves who are just going to be upgrading our weapons, even they have a story. We will explore their story because Corey said that they have a complicated relationship and that we Kratos interfere in that and we change it in some dynamic. So again, everything in here will have a story. This is again going back to Atreus' journal, something that is not common or not found at all in Norse. How does Atreus have it? What's the story behind the book? Who made it? And everything like that. I also feel like this is why... Corey, in the beginning of the interview, he was talking about certain set pieces that's also going to be in the game when they had on display. So I find this very, very interesting. I can't wait to even see the relationship between Brock and Sindri and how Kratos and Atreus changes that. And that's going to be the end of this video. Again, we didn't really get a lot here, but I feel because the game's right around the corner that they're now starting to keep most of the information to their chest so we can experience it for ourselves. And I guess that's pretty, pretty good. Um, I'm really excited for this game. You only got a couple of weeks till it comes out. For my next video, I'm probably going to be talking about all of the creatures we know about so far. I'm also going to be doing a sample music uh, OST of the game. Uh, we got a lot of samples so far we don't have the full soundtracks to them but i'm definitely going to make a video about the creatures and all the soundtracks you know the samples that we heard so far so definitely stay tuned for that i'm going to be out here thank you guys for listening deuces